Level 4 course, what's it all about? It's in some ways it's different from what most people expect. You know, they expect to come to the level 4 course and do lots of extremely fast skiing. But to really break through to an expert level of skiing, we sometimes have to go back to some real basic things and learn to restructure our skiing from the bottom up. So we definitely spend part of the course doing that. A big part of the course is, is learning how to learn, it's how to rebuild motor patterns. And if they're deeply rooted uh, habits that we have, we have to treat ourselves like beginners again and, and go to initiation, acquisition and, and repattern in a very fundamental way. One of the objectives of the course is to understand that process and leave with one or two clear objectives per candidate and a clear training idea of how to go and train those things in, into your skiing. We try to build the course out of the knowledge of, of the people that are on the course. In other words, it's less about the, the course conductor presenting information. It's more about going and trying to find out how people see and understand skiing and then base our development around the, the knowledge that's in the group. It's a little slower to develop that way, but the hope is that we go a little deeper into people's understanding and challenge them in the way they think. Do we have to be railing it through the turn using everything we've got or can we put ourselves in a situation if we're balanced in the right spot on the ski that the ski does the work for us? I think the balance, balance. is the, best. the crucial thing is to manage. My goal this morning's session was to broaden their scope. I wanted to take it back to some basics to challenge the very fundamentals of what they think makes the ski turn, what makes them turn. See if I could put it on its head and then this afternoon take those ideas and smooth them out a little bit and see where we go. I think that uh, they were open to all kinds of ideas and then as I started to bring out some different concepts I think when you challenge them they get a little reserved and quiet and then as time goes on and the feelings get good and it moves into something else and they, they, they see where it could apply to their own skiing and once they get that they're very hooked and they're very ready to go. As far as the teaching side of the course goes, and we're trying to show them how uh, learning principles apply, prioritizing the technical goals, but also giving a time frame that's realistic, and learning how to adjust situationally to uh, whatever the objectives may be, In snow conditions or uh, pitch and so forth, that may change, but the objective of the skier will always stay the same. Let's do it without any knee and ankle. Looks like this is good as it looks.